Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I have not made a video on my free-to-play count in quite a while. In fact, a couple months ago, I made an announcement that I was basically retiring this account because I basically completed all the goals I wanted to. I have a bunch of premiums in Tier 10, in Tier 9, in Tier 8. However, with this new Turning the Tide event that has been added into the game to get the Elephant, I kind of revamped it because of the fact that this was the freest event I've ever seen in my life. As you will notice, I've already completed every single stage, and I've also gotten all of the crates already throughout playing on this account. And now, I'm going to claim my final two detonators to get my second Elephant. I got very unlucky and did not end up getting this tank in the crates at all, so I basically just had to get it with charms. But as you can see, I just got an additional chunk of gold. I just had 2,000, now I have 6,000. And what we're going to do is we're going to sell this vehicle and get another 3,700 gold. The reason why is quite simple. You see, if we make our way over to our store bundles, and we scroll, and we scroll, and we scroll some more, you will see there's a bundle called Heavy Offensive that is currently on sale. It gives the T-77, it gives the KV-5, the T-77 gets the Legendary Camo, both vehicles are fully equipped, gives a crap ton of boosters, times 5 boosters, garage slots, yeah, I am buying that bundle. I was able to get, just in about 50 games of playing, a T-77 and a KV-5 for absolutely free and it once again shows that yes while world of tanks blitz does have some aspects that could be seen as pay to win you don't need to spend money to get good rewards nobody can sit here and complain well uh, this or that because this was literally the freest event i've ever seen all you had to do was play probably about 50 to 100 battles depending on your skill level and you would easily be able to complete this event not even having to get aces i mean obviously i got a decent chunk of aces on this account i've already got 330 uh which is quite a bit so yeah, I'm going to play in both the T-77 and the KV-5 for today's video. We're going to start off by obviously uh, putting some ammo on this tank. Not sure why it has so much HE. We're just going to do six HE shells. I think that should get the job done. And we'll do nine premium shells. We're going to put some provisions on it. Obviously, double food and fuel as usual. And for the camouflage, we are going to be putting on the cannonball camo, which is one of the coolest legendary camos. I personally think existing in the game. Final thing we're going to do is get rid of super speed boost. We're going to swap our repair kit to the middle slot. And we're going to put our first aid kit on the bottom. There you go. We have fully kitted out our T-77. Honestly, the bundle that Wargaming is featuring to pick up this vehicle is insane. I mean, the T-77 itself is worth, in my opinion, about 12,500 gold fully equipped. And I would have said that a bundle just featuring the T-77 for 12,500 gold with all the stuff equipped and the camo would have been great. The fact that they're selling the tank and the KV-5, both fully equipped, and with boosters and everything else, is insanely good. And uh, I would definitely recommend to pick it up if you like this type of playstyle. The T-77 is probably the most overpowered tier 8 in the game, and I can say that quite confidently. It's just stupid. I mean, the fact that it has a double shot gun that can deal 800 damage in 2.5 seconds. I mean, look at the silencer, right? Full health tank. Okay, well, uh, not really sure what to say about that, but uh, we're going to chill right here. Come on, IS-3. There you go. Well, we still got out 800 damage. Even though the vehicle has 380 damage per shot, it usually rolls around 400, which we just saw there. I mean, I'm at 822 damage, and all we have to do is wait six more seconds and we do it all again. I mean, you don't bleed anything because you don't really need to make any aggressive pokes. So there's the IS-3. Dude's facing away. So we're gonna get one pen into his rear, light him on fire, 450. Two shells into his rear, another 428. And uh, yeah, two clips, 1600 damage. Kinda stupid, kinda stupid. We have the Sturmill and the Lorraine 40T off to the side. And that's exactly who we're gonna try and push. We got five more seconds left, three, Two, one, and we have our two shells ready. All right, well, I'm not worried about either of these players, to be honest. I'm probably going to try and kill the Emil first. There you go. One easy 360 damage shot. My teammate's probably going to kill the Emil, so we'll get a nice shell into the Lorraine, and we're going to start backing up. The T2064 has really good armor, so I'm going to let him take the shells. 
And we're going to start heading over towards probably the STA, I would say, at this point, because that's really the only player left who has a decent chunk of hit points. So let's head over there. We also have the uh, Lorraine, who actually is uh, decently healthy. We mess up the first shell, which is my fault, but we got the second one in anyway. We're at 2,700 damage at this point. I mean, the T-77 is just such a stupid vehicle. That's really all you need to say about it. It's completely broken. It's got pretty good DPM for what it is. It, you know, it doesn't lack in the DPM department at all. It's got really good alpha. It's got a stupid autoloader. So there you go, 350 damage shell into his vehicle. Ah, okay, well, apparently I bounced him. I kind of just rushed the shot because I was trying to reload the FCM, but, I mean, it, it's not like it really matters. We did over 3,000 damage. We won, and we put in about one ounce of skill, which is not much, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, 3,281 with the RAM as well. Um, that was the third class, which just shows how well this vehicle's performing. 3,000 damage is only a third class. Wow. Yeah, the T-77 is an absolutely busted tank. I don't know really what else to say. The vehicle has gun depression at 10 degrees. It's got troll armor. It's got a gun that doesn't give a crap about you. And now we make our way over to the KV-5, which is this beast right here. Now, the KV-5 features an insanely good armor profile. It's, it's not like the armor profile is hard to pen, but it's troll. And when the average player in this game isn't very good, it really allows you to get just a lot of bounces. So as we can see, it's fully equipped, which is great. So all we need to do is change the equipment loadout here. I'm going to stick with HP. I think that's actually better for the tank. We're going to run improved optics, engine accelerator, and consumable delivery system. For the camouflage, this vehicle didn't come with one. Wow, that looks hella mid. Do we have any good camos to put on this tank? Uh, you know what? We got a bunch of weird camos. Let's just do Digital Illusion. Why not? There you go. And bunk. All right. We got our camos on this vehicle. And we are going to equip the vehicle with gold rounds. And I think that's actually the wrong gun. Yeah, it is. Okay. I was like, wait a sec. The top gun on this vehicle has heat. And yes, it does. All right. That is a lot better. Boom. All right. Our KV-5 is fully equipped. Let's do a battle in this vehicle, which is going to be really fun. I can tell you that already you just drive and you win in this tank that's all you have to do the armor allows you to get bounces the gun has good dpm now it's got pretty good accuracy and pen as well uh it's just kind of insane so we got a tiger one and a tiger two Ooh, a stock isu that's not incredibly uh incredibly uplifting now usually teams like to go town on eu so we're just gonna do that right now we're gonna head right in the mid Full speed ahead. The funny thing about the KV-5 is it's not even slow. The thing reaches a top speed of 40, which is pretty dang fast for a vehicle that weighs 100 tons. <laughs> it's kind of insane. You can see here the power to weight is not bad either. I mean, we're going 30 right now. We spotted the AMX M445, and interesting, we saw that break. All right, well, the AMX is going to poke, and there you go. Nice 340 damage shell. AMX is never going to pen me at an angle like this, so I can literally sit here. And uh, let's just reload. Let's see. AMX can't pen him there, but we do have the Tiger 2 in front of us. There you go. AMX does pen me through the ball of my turret. Weird. Either way, um, we'll reload again. We got a lot of actually death in front of us. We got a shell into the elephant. We got the Emil. I don't want to get hatched, so we're just going to wiggle the tank back and forth. Aim it on the elephant. And. Mm, okay, well. While the KV-5 might be a strong tank when you have the entire population of China shooting at you, it really doesn't matter, to be honest. Uh, we're going to aim it on the AMX. There you go. Didn't mean to load heat, but we still penned him. Wow, I can't believe there were that many. Look how many shells we have on our vehicle. That's so dumb, bro. I can't believe there's that many tanks wanting a piece of us. Well, we got a nice shell to the elephant. We got a bounce as well, which is pretty important. We have the Tiger 2 off to the side. We're going to reload, and let's see if we can bonk the Tiger. There you go, 287 shots into his turret, and uh, we're going to maneuver on up. We're going to take the safe way up, though. I'm not going to deal with that Tiger 2 in a position where I can't really pin him. So we're going to go wide. We're going to get to the side of the Elephant. We're going to get to the side of the Tiger 2. Easy clear on the Elephant. There you go. Yeah, the KV-5 is just a bop. I mean... We did get penned a lot, but we also got a lot of bounces, and the fact that our DPM is pretty solid on this vehicle, allowing us to just keep punching through these players, we're already at 2,000 damage at this point, which is actually a pretty solid amount. We got the Emil running, and we got the Tiger 2, we get an easy 360 damage bonk into, and we reload again. 
Let's see, I'm gonna put on my adrenaline at this point, and we're gonna bonk the Tiger 2 again. 334 damage, and now all that's left is the enemy of Mill 1, who is obviously running away from us, and... Wow, we actually hit that. As I said, the gun on this vehicle is surprisingly accurate, which you don't expect. So all that's left is the uh, Emil, and he's dead. I was hoping we could ram him, because that definitely would have killed him, but... I mean, those are two pretty solid results. I didn't really think the KV-5 armor worked amazing there, but we also may have blocked more than I'm thinking. Let's see. So, 3,104. Yeah, we didn't block too much at 750, but I can tell you for a fact that you will get a lot of block damage in this vehicle. You can YOLO mediums, especially in matches like this, and it's just the easiest wins ever. So let me know what you guys think. I think that this event was great. I'm super glad that Wargaming brought it into the game. I don't know what to do with the detonators I have. I, they, they don't do anything anymore, but the event itself was great. I give Wargaming some credit here. Um, it's just free gold. I also, I should also mention I have a bunch of gold boosters. You know, you make your way over to the booster tab. I have 175 boosters from this event. So I've got about 4,000 gold in boosters from the event, and I got... 9,000 gold from selling the tank or 8,000 gold from selling the tank. So in total, I got about 13,000, 12,000 gold from this event. It's honestly fantastic. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.